Okay. The City of Lawrence Police Merit Commission will come to order at 6.04 p.m. Gail, Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Termination of quorum. We have a full commission, so we have our quorum. Any comments from the commission members, Ron? None. Bob? None. Karen? No. Gail? None. And myself, no. Uh, Chair Wood, here a motion to approve the minutes of the executive session March 13th, 2023, and the regular meeting on March 13th, 2023. The only correction that I know of is council advised us to add at the top of the executive session the location, and that was changed. Otherwise, there was no changes. I hear a motion. So moved. Second. I have a first, and I have it. Ron a first, Bob a second. We'll go to a vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. Both minutes are approved. Unfinished business, we have none. Before us, under new business, first item is a request from the captain to hold a special meeting on June 20th at 4.30 p.m. with the agenda that follows. It's a reference uh, hiring process. Uh, I did contact Mary Jo and secure the room. And as, I, as you know, I emailed each one of you to make sure we would have a quorum, and then I responded back to Kathy and the captain that we will be able to grant that. Uh, if for some reason they're magically able to get stuff done by the 12th, we'll present it at the 12th and cancel the special. If not, then we'll have a regular meeting. Uh, if the ca uh, chief ends up giving me nothing for the 12th, I will suspend that meeting because there's no reason for us to come in if we don't have one. If something would come up between the 12th and the 20th, we can always add it. What was it, 48 hours notice we have to have to add it to the special? I'm not mistaken. So we could always add it if it's something urgent. So either way it goes, uh, June 12th is still a go until you hear from us. And June 20th is a go at 4.30. Uh, Mary Jo did let me know that there'll be somebody coming in right on our heels. So uh, matter of fact, I think it's your group. Uh, resource reuse centers yeah, authority maybe yeah so there for that either so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so and again what we got to do is not going to take that long okay so moving to new business for tonight so we don't need a motion to approve that or uh no because i've already i've already called it they requested and i already grant i already called it okay. uh under due business for tonight captain i'm going to go over your your line items there uh, we had uh, 20, 12 candidates that passed the written exam based on the previous standards that were set. So we're filing the written examination results with a level three CSEM, 70% or above. Okay. Did any commission members have any questions or reference to the request on line item two? And you've, you were given the data electronically and be able to view the um, spreadsheet. No questions. Chair will entertain a motion to accept line item two as written. So no made. Second. Uh, Bob is the first. Ron's the second. Move to a vote. All those in favor of approving line item two, say aye. 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 All those opposed. Line item two is approved. Captain. Of those twelve. Um, 10 of them met the standards of the oral interview results, which we set the standards back in was it October, November. One of those cold days. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, 10 of those candidates did meet um, acceptable, outstanding. Actually, it was 11 that met that. Um, but two of them did not submit their applications, and one of those two did not meet the standards of the oral interview. So we're asking that 11 candidates proceed to the background or continue with the background and the two be removed. Okay, so 11. So line item three should be corrected to 11 candidates? 10. 10. Okay. So 11 passed, met the standards, okay. but that candidate did not submit their application. Okay. okay. Therefore, they're removed from it. So, so, we, are, 10. so we are moving 10 on is your request. Correct. Okay, great. All right. Okay. Any questions from the members? No question, Chair will entertain a motion to accept line item, line item three is written. I move to second. Gail first, Karen second. Move to a vote, all those in favor say aye. 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 
All those opposed? Carries unanimously. Line item four, ma'am. We are asking that we go ahead and determine the selection criteria as in past so that it can be applied at either the June 12th or June 20th meeting. Those are based on the state statute and we also add the tier one graduate from the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy to receive a half a point for each section that they meet. Commission members, any questions? Reference line item four. So line item four should be, these points will be added at is it, is it important whether, when it's posted, do we need to put the 12th or the 20th? No. Okay, all right, so we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, otherwise, this is pretty similar to what we've done. Any questions from the commission? No questions, entertain a motion to accept light item four as written. I'll move. Uh, we got Gail is first, Bob is the second, I think, if I heard that correctly. Look. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to remember Bob's voice not being on the <laughs> camera here. The pause. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed. Motion carries. Line item four is approved. Thank you. Uh, performance recognition. Recognition. Easy for me to say. Did the chief send anything with you, ma'am? I know the chief had something, but it wasn't anything he could give to me since we just had that shooting. They're still at the scene. So, but if I can at least take the moment to appreciate. Lieutenant Evans and Officer Williams and Officer Highwood, who have been very helpful in trying to sustain this type of hiring process. As you guys know, we're doing back to back and it's very exhausting. It's not sustainable without their help. So I at least want Evan, to say Evans, thank you. Williams and Highwood. Highwood? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, if we can ask, I mean, if it violates the process, I can understand that. But what are you, because I mean, we're used to doing these every few months and we're seeing, this is the largest number we've had in yes. two or three processes. Are, what are you seeing percentage wise, brand new guys versus laterals? Is, is, is it fairly proportional or is it starting to stack or? No, we, we do get a lot more non-law enforcement officers that are applying. Um, as far as the percentage, I think we invited 103 Seven of those were ILEA, if I remember correctly. So we invited 103, seven ILEA. So it's, it's getting a lot shorter. But, I mean, the good news is we took our pool of candidates down to 13 and we're back up to 104. So people are interested. It's sure. just getting them through the process. Now, out of this, if, again, if I'm... Putting the cart before the horse here, just say so. Out of this 10 that we're hoping to go through, uh, that 10 is for, okay. <laughs> that 10 is, how many spots are we looking at that we're wanting to so, realistically try to fill? We got confirmation that the candidate from our last process that we've all approved and has moved on um, went before the local pension board today is now going to the state pension board and we're waiting approval by them. Um, we plan to hire him either June 1st or June 15th, just depends on the results. With his hire, it'll take us to six. We'll need six more. more um, yeah, but we also have a couple of people that have put in for retirement, which of course they can always take back. So we're going to be looking at least one more process for this year? Yes. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. And any comments from your colleague? You're more welcome to speak if you would like. He says, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. With that, again, we will move towards adjournment, but just please remember, folks, like I said, our regular meeting is the 12th, unless otherwise notified. And we have a special meeting June 20th at 4.30. With that, we will be adjourned at 8.13 p.m. Thank you.